okay, so now I'm gonna be working on my trunk area and I'm gonna be removing the taillights, replacing taillight seals because some of the water is leaking inside. Okay, so another thing, I removed this cover. Um, I'll be spraying a lot of fluid film all the way there and cleaning all this area, just removing all the surface rust, especially right here, some of that. Okay, I was working on this area as well. So I have to finish it all up and then it should be good to go pretty soon. And uh, obviously I will uh, grease everything up here for preservation. So really good stuff. So that's gonna be the plan for today. Have all this stuff out and I can work on this thing. It's a little frosty today. So that's the plan. Everything is getting fluid filmed here for preservation. And that includes the fuel tank and everything. I still have to finish fluid filming it. But as you can see, all this thick oil right here, it's all for preservation. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna install the cover right here, which is that one. So yeah, and then I'm gonna finish working on this area, fixing some surface rust and obviously everything is gonna get coated here with grease and everything. All the rust is getting cleaned up and everything is going to be getting primed and painted in these spots. Everything is getting cleaned up. This area is getting all cleaned up and everything. It's going to be really nice. And at the end, after I'm done painting and, you know, fixing the rust, I will undercoat everything here. It's going to be great, guys, okay? This car is going to be good for another 100 years. And I also fluid filmed this area right here. Sometimes the moisture likes to cause rust on this chunk area. So right now everything's going to be nice. And also had these LED or... Uh, I had these license plate lamps out. I was cleaning them and then I also installed some nice LED bulbs in there. I'll show you later. So it's very nice guys, okay? Slowly but surely she's coming along and hopefully tonight, today, I will finish working on the trunk and I'll do all the stuff. I will uh, uh, install everything here uh, back and all that. And I still have to install the antenna I actually took the antenna apart and lubricate the antenna uh, it's all ready to go i'll just have to plug it in and install it and i have a new seal for it as well and also have new bulbs i'm going to be installing new bulbs for both tail lights all of them there's five bulbs per tail light so those will be done as well Okay, this is another really important thing you guys have to do. You have to remove, or pop out your gas pedal, fuel pedal, and then you have to check for rust right here and preserve this area. So right now there was some rust, so I'm just sanding it down. And then later I'll be priming it, uh, primering it, painting it, and preserving with grease. Okay. Just so this area is all good, no problems, okay? Very important, guys. Okay guys, so I already cleaned all the rust off um, right there and primer did. Same thing with these spots. Okay, everything's getting dry and then I'll paint it afterwards. And as you can see, I started preserving everything here. Spare tire area, all these wheel wells. Everything's getting coated with fluid film and grease so it can last at least another 100 years.
So let's go ahead and check the ceiling of this tail light. Okay, got a bunch of water with me. I'm gonna start pouring the water right here, everywhere where it, you know it drains from the trunk uh, lid. I'm gonna pour right there. Like right here, everything. Then we're gonna recheck and see, make sure there's no water coming into the trunk. Goal basically, all right. Okay, now I'm gonna go inside and see. And I know it's greasy, but you can actually tell the difference if it's water uh, leaking or not. So I'm looking for all these areas right here for this area the water i know it's gonna be hard to see in the camera but there's no water leaks right now so i'm really happy about that all right and then this was all the surface rust has been all cleaned up primered painted and everything and then at the end i already started putting grease right there so it's good stuff guys all right and then i'm getting ready to install this taillight as well with a new seal that i'm about to show you it's a little bit of a mess here but this is a brand new seal that I installed. It's getting cold here, so you see all the condensation and stuff, but yeah, this is a new seal. All right. Oh, I have all the new bulbs installed on both assemblies and installed the taillight on this side right here. Also added uh, some uh, grease around there and, but, I also lubricated, I didn't show you, but I lubricate, lubricated the uh, the seal itself with silicone grease. So that will be good. And then this is how it looks right here, right now. I'm about to install this uh, bulb assembly. And then I'll also finish undercoating everything here. That area is all good to go. I'll paint it, protect it. Uh, amazing. All right, just installed the uh, new antenna seal and new mast right here. It's awesome. My radio is playing. Okay. The radio. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it off, and you will. We're gonna go and watch that antenna mast go down, and then we're gonna redo it again. Okay. So that's off. Ah, look at that. Woohoo! Oh, she's coming down. That's awesome. There you go. Great. Super happy about that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the radio back on. Cool, right? Awesome. I'm gonna lubricate this with automatic trans fluid a little bit lightly. All right, so we're getting closer. I'm cleaning this area up right now. And what I'm doing is I'm doing maintenance on this fuel pedal mount right there. Uh, there was a little bit of surf surface rust. So I, I removed all that we're with wire wheel primer, painted it. And then uh, after I let it dry, I put grease on there and fluid film. And I also lubricated this right there where this uh, shaft is. So it's gonna be nice and good. Now I can just go ahead uh, and reinstall this bad boy. It's pretty simple. Okay, 
just goes right into that uh, mount like this. All right, it's in. And now I'll just have to install this pin right here, okay? It just goes right in the middle. 